Welcome to the Art Ed Building Room 204. This is the east entrance if you're facing north towards the quads. Um, you will use your ID badge to allow you access to this room. As you can see, it's located left of the door. Once scanning that, you will have access into the studio. Only you and students taking this class or other ceramics classes are allowed in this room. Once walking in, you can see the shelvings on the left and right. That is where your coats and backpacks and projects will be stored during your time in this class. Each student will get their own shelves. As you can see, this is the overall studio. We have four tables to the right and in the back we have individual workspaces. Hand building will take place on these four tables with the correct spacing. If we need another table, we can use that table back there by the TV, under the TV. Okay, The TV will primarily be used for Zoom lectures, uh, workshops if we are visiting artists, and so on. Behind me, as you can see, there's three sinks. They're not sp spaced out correctly, so please one person only at the sink at a time while cleaning your tools and cleaning up. As we move throughout this room, as you can see, the hand sanitizer and the eye cleaner. If something wants to get in your eye, please, this is the place to do it. Hand sanitizer, please use as needed. Going north, we have a slab roller, which I will give more details on in the next video throughout this semester and show you how to correctly use that. We are now facing north, looking out towards the quads. As I move to the west, we have these four workbenches. These are for the advanced students, so hand builder will not be able to use those. Those are only for the advanced students so that they are spaced out correctly. Please leave the potter's wheels alone at those, as those are used for those students in that class. As we move to the west, to those double doors, this is the kiln room. In the kiln room, we have three electric kilns, as you can see to the left. Two little ones, one larger one, and to the right we have a gas kiln. Most of our projects in this class will be used, will be fired in the three kilns to the left, the electric kilns, which I will educate you on with an upcoming video on how to run, program, fire those kilns as well. Moving to the next room to the south, we have the clay room. This is where all the clay is getting made, so we have a pugger event system that cleans up the clay dust. Um, this is where all the clay, the wet clay, is stored to remake. Um, you will not need to be in this room if you're in hand building. Um, so this door is usually locked for safety purposes. Closing that door, we move to the last room to the south. This is where all the wet clay is stored. So as you can see there's shelving, there's clay chemicals for storage to make glazes and clay. And then that shelf, which is empty, will be full of clay in the next upcoming week with various types of clay. Again, which I will do a clay video on to describe the different types of clay. Moving out of that room, again, we have posters on most of these doors. These are for referencing artists' names, uh, different kinds of projects, glazes. So feel free to use those throughout the classroom. This room behind me is my personal room. This is where I store my tools and other materials that we need for this class. That room is always going to be locked. Okay. Looking throughout the studio again, if I turn around, there are two double doors. As you can see, this is the exit only. Please follow that sign, entrance from the west side, and then leave from the, I mean, entrance from the east side, leave from the west side. The last room is the glaze room. If you walk in here, this is where all the glazing, all the materials for glazing are stored and made. As you can see, the chemicals up on the shelves, the chemical bins. You have the blue cart, which we will put all of our projects on to dry. To the left, we have the buckets. Those are only used for throwing and high fire work. Again, there is a sink in here that can be used for cleanup purposes if you need to. All the tools on the wall, please leave on the wall as they are cleaned up and organized. Again, these are the cupboards. You will have glazes and bins in those also. That is a quick trip of the ceramics studio. Thank you for joining me and have fun this semester.